Hey guys, it's Tarkus from Tarkus Gaming. Today I'm going to show you how to make a working item elevator in the 1.9 update. Uh, as many of you have noticed, some of the older older item elevators no longer work in 1.9. So I decided to build this new one. It does require a bit of redstone, but there's no limit to how many items you can put in. And as you can see, I built this one fairly tall, so there's no real limit to the height here. All you have to do is throw in however many items you want. It'll go around this corner here into a little holding chamber. There's a clock that runs that will every once in a while close this piston and then set off this piston here, which will actually pull the items up into it and then send them up this, this uh, item elevator block here. And if you come up to the top, you look in, now my glass blocks are right up here. Very simple system, I'll show you how to make it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is build your run up. So you'll want just a little line of blocks here and this will be where your items come from. You can connect this to whatever you want it to be running from. At the end here, you're gonna want a, a little turn before it actually goes into where you'll be collecting it. So once you get to the end of this, you go at three blocks. On the last one, place a sticky piston facing in, and then a glass block in front of that. So now you just have this one block. Uh, and then on this side, you can build up a wall. And on this side here is going to be your actual item elevator. So what I'll do is I'll build up a couple right now just because I want this block right here to be an upside down piston. Make sure you don't use a sticky piston or else it's going to end up pulling up your floor. And then you can put in your floor and just build up around the piston itself. So this is the start of your actual elevator. Now what you're going to want to do is replace the block above it with stone. You can actually use glass. I just like to use stone to differentiate and then build it up as tall as you want and then connect it to whatever whatever system you're using up above. Then on all of the four sides, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and build up glass all the way. So you want on this side, this side here, right above here on this side, and on the first side we we're doing over here. So now you have glass all the way up. Obviously you're gonna keep building this so that it goes above whatever system you're using. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish it right up here. And again on this side. Now sometimes you'll get a bit of a glitch. It's just visual, but you'll see the items shoot up out of it. So for that purpose, I'm just gonna put a lid on it so that the items can't actually go up above this height. So now that's your actual item elevator right there built. So all you have left to do is the redstone wiring. So to start off, we're gonna place two blocks here with two repeaters. The repeater farther away, you wanna set down to its fourth delay. Once it's there, go out one block in front of it and come over here. Now you're gonna to wanna to build a six by six, or sorry, a six by two platform right here. And on this, you're gonna put on an Ethonian hopper timer. This is what I use, you can use other ones, um, whatever works for you. So just go ahead and for this design, you're gonna want two hoppers facing each other. Coming out of them, you're gonna want redstone comparators. So one coming out of this hopper, one coming out of this hopper. Those will go into redstone blocks, which will, or sorry, regular blocks, which will go into a redstone on either side of it. And then sticky pistons facing in on either side with a redstone block in the middle here. Now what I do for timing, is I put in about 15 items, 16 items, uh, but you can use slightly different numbers if you want. Doesn't make a huge difference. Obviously you just need to make sure it has enough time um, so that the water can flow and bring the items back into the chamber in between each session. So now that you have that, you wanna go ahead and place a piece of redstone on this one here. Come out, put two blocks, two blocks, two blocks. So now you have a two by three platform here. First thing you wanna do is do redstone on these two blocks, followed by two repeaters. And what you're doing here is building a pulse generator. The reason for this pulse generator is to set off the other piston up there. Put another redstone repeater right there with a piece of redstone dust here. Have that go into a stone block and replace this block beside your piston with stone. And then just place a little piece of redstone up on top there. And you are now done your item elevator. Very simple design, very easy to do and there's no limit on how many items you can put through or anything else. So really all that's left to do is actually create your water stream. 
So I take a bucket of water, put it down here. As many items as I put in will be brought up to the top of this. Obviously, like I said, you can build it as tall as you want. I haven't had any issues yet. Of the thousands and thousands of items I've put through this, I think I've lost one. Um, and that was just because I'm pretty sure I missed the, the water. So this is a 1.9 working item elevator. Very simple design. Thanks for watching.